Hey guys, this is Christian DeLupa here for PC Mac, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the new Assassin's Creed game for mobile, Assassin's Creed Identity. Now, the Assassin's Creed franchise has absolutely taken off over the past few years, fast becoming one of the most popular gaming franchises out there. There's been a few Assassin's Creed games ported over to mobile, but there hasn't been one specifically developed for mobile until now. Now, the Assassin's Creed uh, Identity game has actually been in development limbo for a few years now, finally being released in the past few months. But just how does it stack up against the other Assassin's Creed games? Does it live up to the Assassin's Creed name? Is it worth the $4.99? We took a look at the game to find out. Now, setting up the game is a pretty simple process. You'll need to download the extra files needed for the game, then input your name, your character's name, and select a character type and face for your character. Then you'll finally get to play the game. Assassin's Creed fans will recognize the game, but shouldn't expect the same kind of gameplay as on the PlayStation or Xbox. It's a game that was most definitely designed for mobile, and while the graphics are pretty good, they're good for mobile, not for consoles. The missions in the game take place in much tighter surroundings. That is, there isn't as much to explore as on a console. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It would likely get a little overwhelming to have to explore that much on a mobile device, especially with these controls. Now, the controls on the game are actually pretty easy to use, although again, not as easy as on a console. Missions are broken down into a few minutes, which is a pretty good amount for a mobile player. Mobile players generally want to pull out their phone for a few minutes on the bus, while console players are more likely to be able to devote an hour or two in the evening in front of the TV. As mentioned, the controls are pretty good. The left hand controls the joystick and the right hand controls the view, at least during normal gameplay. During attacks, there's more tapping to do and less running away. You can also scale buildings simply by walking up to the building and then continuing forward, similar to the console games. On top of the campaign missions in the game, you'll also play Contracts, which are basically smaller missions devoted to going after one person in particular, breaking into a chest, and so on. The game definitely feels like an RPG. There are things to unlock, gain new skills, improve your stats, and so on. There's a lot to like about this game, but don't get your hopes up too high if you're a longtime fan of the Assassin's Creed franchise. It's a great game, but it's great for a mobile game. If you're a mobile gamer, it's a great choice, but if you're a console gamer, you're probably going to be disappointed. The Assassin's Creed Identity game is available for both Android and iOS, and it costs $5. Thanks for watching. Again, my name is Christian DeLupa, here for PC Mech, and we'll see you next time.